Hey, Primal Punch here. Um, you know, some of you know my, my wife recently finished uh, university and she's now a special needs teacher. And like that, and I've been trying to help her out because she's really, you know, just, uh, it's a low income district, so there are no supplies. There's just nothing. I mean, they don't have workbooks, school books like that. So, I've been trying to figure out experiments that she could do, and, and they're doing static electricity. And I was looking on YouTube and, and looking at some different experiments. And this one's really neat. I'm going to see if I can replicate it right now. What you'll need is a balloon, a towel, or hair, which I don't have. Or one of those faux fur things would be really good. You know, one of those furry robes or scarves. Wool is excellent. And you'll also need a vegetable bag from your, you know, local store. They're free. And now you're going to go ahead and just cut about a, a one inch section off the end so that you can open it up into a loop. Now we want to build up static electric charge. Alright, so first we're going to go ahead and do the, uh, the plastic, plastic loop here. You're just going to swipe your towel or whatever material you have along that along that vegetable bag until it starts to cling to the surface. Now you can't use a surface that's going to build up its own charge. You'll have to have wood or laminate. You can't, you can't use a plastic, okay? Now when it starts sticking to the, uh, the material, you know you're good. Now hurry, hurry, hurry and get a, uh, get a charge built up in that balloon. And you'll be able to feel it, you know, on your arm hairs once you've got a little bit of a, a charge. This one is uh, the toughest part for me. And meanwhile, I'm losing charge in the, uh, the vegetable bag there. But you got to do it right. got to get that charge in. Oh, this get easier. All right. Hopefully that'll work. Now I'm going to try and replicate this experiment. I saw this on YouTube, and what you're going to do ho, 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 is uh, try to get it to not stick to you, firstly, and then they're going to repel each other. But I burned up the, the static charge in that by letting it stick all over my arm hair. So we're going to do a take two. I'm going to make this work. I'm going to make this sucker work. Get a good charge in there again. Get a good charge in this balloon. And try to keep this from sticking to me. Get off. And it's sort of levitating. If I could keep it from sticking to me. You guys seeing that? How cool is that? Alright. I, I gotta go one more time. It keeps sticking to me. I don't know how to keep it from doing that. If I could build up my own static charge, maybe then it would be repelled. So if one thing has the static charge and the other doesn't, then it sticks. But if they both do, they repel each other. Now my understanding of science is is very, very, very limited, okay? Um, uh, and I've got no no excuse other than, than, than ignorance and laziness. But from what I understand is when, when we're doing this, the one material is giving up positively charged electrons, which cause this static field or static charge to build up. Now, let's see, take three. 
holding one end of the towel between my knees to see if I can get a get a little better better go here. Okay. Come on. Come on. Maybe if I come at it from this direction it'll keep it from sticking. I didn't have a good enough charge in the balloon. One more try. I know you guys are probably sick of this. Maybe if I build up the charge in the balloon first, then hit that, then the balloon one more time real fast. Maybe if I wasn't using a damn old dish towel. Ooh, maybe that's it. The balloon is is uh, only builds up a charge on the part that's that's touched. Apparently, that's interesting. So maybe if I move the balloon around just a little bit here, we're gonna give this one more shot, you guys. Appreciate you hanging in there. This is just really cool to me. Now all I gotta do is make myself a, a shirt made out of vegetable bags and get a balloon about the size of a house and enough people to uh, work me over with, with faux fur and towels so that I can levitate. We did it, you guys. Look at that. I call upon the spirits. I call upon the spirits. <laughs> Man, that's so cool, you guys. Hey, thank you all for coming by. I was just, just monkeying around. That's wanted to share it with someone, you know. Um, I dig you up. Live free and punch hard. Be good to yourselves, alright? Because you're worth it and I dig you. Catch you later.